Yeah. Um, so, Alexander Isaac, um, young Swedish 17 year old player, <laughs> Dortmund have bought yet another embryo into their, their team. You know, there are a lot of fetuses and umbilical cords that are prowling around the Dortmund arena. Um, so what is interesting about this is not really the signing per se. I've been watching this guy's highlights. So he's, a, he's a pretty nice player. I will get to him as a footballer later on. But what strikes me about this was the fact that Dortmund beat out Real Madrid. Or shall I say um, this um, brethren, Isaac, he chose Dortmund over Real Madrid. And you think to yourself that Real Madrid, bigger club, always in the Champions League, greater chance of winning trophies, plural, apart from La, La Liga, which they're allergic to, to winning. So you would think that, that why would, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer, especially if you're a young footballer, you would choose Real Madrid. But what this shows is that he's got great advice. Because again, we know with agents and people, people advise people foolishly, and so many times footballers, especially young people, make stupid decisions. He's got great advisors, and maybe him as a guy, even at 17 years old, he's like, which team best suits me? And this is where I now go back to looking at his highlights. And what I'm looking at his highlights is that the players that work for Dortmund are players who are light on their feet, agile, and really move around a lot, you know. So someone like him, he suits the team perfectly, especially for how they play, how they counter-attack, how they move the ball, the amount of running that is required, he fits in perfectly. For instance, a guy like his storage wouldn't work for Dortmund because storage is much more of a um, technical base player who doesn't really use as much running with it. So he, his, his football is very much slower. slower. Pierlo as well. like that's He's a player that doesn't suit Dortmund. Those, those players suit like a Serie A team, like an Inter Milan or a Juventus. Um... But someone like an Isaac, he's perfect for Dortmund's setup, you know. And again, it is great because what I love, at, you know, um, at what Dortmund are, are doing, you know, Weigel, Pulisic, Emre Moore, these are youngsters and they're building for the future. And it's great that, you know, they're looking for the future and we're not seeing like a freaking 60, 70 million um, pound um, bid for um, any kind of um, people out there. Um but on the flip side is, don't you? You've, you've got to get some thirty-year-olds. You've got to get some thirty-five-year-olds. You've got to get some guys who got scars in their faces, in their freaking intestines, who are ready to literally like go through someone's flicking flipping kidney to get a ball because you need some some defenders. Batra is trash with a capital T. Okay, Batra is a flipping useless to defender. It's, Guys, it's crap. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I like what you're doing. It's exciting. I'm excited to see how he will fit into the team because I love watching Dortmund play. But can you get some defenders? Can you give Socrates some help? So, Subotic just isn't as good as he was in 2013. Batra is useless. Please, please, please. But, yeah, man, um, it is always nice to know that there are young players out there who don't just go for the obvious and the bigger club who will rather go for the club that fits them and will benefit their footballing career and development.